Welcome back to another episode of Little Big Workshop. We just got hoverboards delivered, and I think before we start anything else, let's get the scooter engine going just before this contract disappears. And then after we do that, I think we really need to work on optimizing our factory layout. Because right now, it's not the greatest at this point in time. Let's change this to normal casting stations, because we do not... Oh. We don't even have that. We don't even have a foundry. All right. How do we get a foundry? Oh my God. Is this really not a big enough area? Are you kidding me? Sure. Put it there. Fine. Put it there. All right. Someone build it. Someone build it. There you go. All right. Great plan. All right. So everything's good. I think we want to swap, since all this is casting, let's swap some of this out to be pressed. Or extruded metal, sorry. Maybe we do two extruded. And then two cast plus this one. That should work. Let's do all the base metals. We'll see what happens with the scoring here. Hey, still good. All right. So we'll use our basic foundries for this. Form press there, assembly there, bending there. I guess we have to make sure we manually split that up. Then this has to be there. And then we assemble. And I think that's good. And then let's make sure we split this up. Send four there and that should be good. Let's speed that up, shall we? And then let's make this area for work zone input to link workstations. Okay, so that's gonna be for that, that, that. How many can we link to this? Is it infinite? So basically anything that's in this area should get put into this zone. And then this by default would end up being anything that's metal related should come over there. I'm guessing. Or I guess anything that's going to be for assembly would come over there as well. Oh yeah, we're way ahead of schedule on this one. Not bad, Nappy. I want to see how this machine works. What is this even called? Advanced Foundry? Oh dang, look at that. Making scooter engines. Oh, come on, this phone. Coffin? Nope, no coffin. He still wants these chairs. Piss off. I'm making chairs. I'm making engines. Ooh. I never knew we could do this. I hit shift on accident. So this shows us if machines are idle, I guess, as well as if machines are running. Ooh, let's repair things. Since we have a lot of downtime right now, let's get things repaired. All right, get all these repaired. Let's just click everything. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely in the word working section need things repaired. All right. So that way people have stuff to do, at least. Repair a teeny bit. Oh, wow, we are super ahead of schedule with these scooter engines. The green is our progress, and the blue is, like, the time limit left. We have five days to complete this. We're going to finish this in, like, one. It's probably going to pay garbage, though. I'm guessing. You'd think something like nine scooter engines would probably pay a decent amount and watch it pay like 500 bucks. I didn't even check the contract when I looked at it. All right, four engines done. The one thing I hate about reorganizing the shop is what I've said before is it's not like if you're watching my auto knot series, you can kind of just pick up a machine or a tool or workbench and move it and that's it you don't have to you know take it tell it to move it gets in like a temporary hold state where someone has to go over there move it and because it's at that point in two spots it's in the spot where it is in the spot where it's going you can't reposition things to overlap that it's kind of annoying you got to do like two to three moves just to get things positioned how you want I wish there was a better way to move stuff around the workshop. 
All right, three more engines and everyone's on break again. Come on, people. Someone make these engines. There you go. There you go. Make the engine. Make the engine. Aha, deliver. Deliver the engines. There you go. Oh, 22 grand. What? What? Oh, never mind. I take everything I said about you back. Oh, what a hefty payment. Oh, what a hefty payment. 58 units. Oh, my God. I guess one way to fix that. I could just expand woodworking again. So what was taking a long time? I think it's the cutting. And maybe it's just cutting. Maybe cutting is what is taking so long. Because there is a lot of cutting that has to be done. So maybe we just get more cutting machines. Where are they? Advanced table saw. You know what? Oh my god, it costs nine grand. All right. We'll do it. We'll, we'll make more drawers. We'll make more drawers. I just want to see if this is going to help. We're not going to make a ton. I'm going to make maybe like 10 more. And we will see if having just like one more cutting machine, one more table saw is going to help us out. We'll make 10. We'll do it in batches. And that should be good. So does this have stuff? It does. Nice. All right, go. All right, so all this wood should go over to the left, should it not? Wait, why is it not? What? Workstation input zone. So why is everything being delivered here? No, stop it. Oh, I guess it's a general zone. So first they prioritize distance from the offload. So because of that, they're just moving it straight here at first. Although now it looks like they're moving it back over here. I mean, as long as stuff stays in this blue area in the end, I'm happy. All right, there, yeah, now they're moving all the wood over, okay. Yeah, they were just offloading here and then they were moving it all to the blue section. Okay. That's a little inefficient, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I still don't know what this little gray bar in front is versus the lighter blue bar. Or the gray bar in back versus the lighter blue bar. Because I'm not, like, in a race for anything. Like, I don't have a contract time. So I don't know what that bar in the background is. Alright. Still, things are not being cut fast enough. I still don't get it. I just do not get it. Why is nothing being done? Oh, you know what the issue is with this? We probably don't know. We have six wood specialists. There is no way in heck they're all on break. They should all be working on these advanced table saws at all times. Let's see. Okay, so we got one here. One here. Where are the rest of them? Three, four... See, like, why are you on the glue stick? You don't need to do that. Let one of these general workers do it. No, stop it. Dang. Yeah, see, this is where I wish I could also assign workers to different stations. Because I don't want my advanced workers doing the basic stuff like assembly or gluing. I want them using the advanced tools first. Because they're the only ones that are qualified to do that. Alright, everything's moving. No one's even using this one. It just seems to be broken. Yeah, why is no one using this? Someone come over here and use this. Please. It's got one operation just waiting. The wood's even there. Just turn the machine on. Thank you. Anyway, we got three drawers done. 
I kind of wish they called this a cabinet, like filing cabinet. Because it gets a little confusing seeing them making the drawers, but then I'm not talking about the actual drawer unit. I'm talking about the little tiny drawers inside the drawers, and that's all. Okay, what, 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 what? Oh, we're going bankrupt and people are passing out. Eh, sounds like a typical Monday. Passed out workers. How are you passed out? You're a hauler. There's nothing to haul. Oh my god. You're just sleeping on the job. Alright, we got five drawers done. I feel like that was a little quicker, but I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. I think we just need more specialists. We just don't have enough that are working on the advanced table saws at all times. But even then, we had six, and all six weren't on break or anything, so I don't know why they're not always cutting. Because my, my idea is these three, between the six workers, should always be going, and the general workers in red should be doing the bending and the gluing. Because these ones require the specialist, the bending, and the gluing does not. But that doesn't seem how this game likes to operate. Fun, fun, fun. Alright, another drawer, that's number six. Let's see if we can get all ten done before we go bankrupt. I'll sell ahead of time if I need to. Alright, 37. 4,100. If it ticks one more time, yeah, we just need to sell now. Get it out, we need the money. Let's go before we go bankrupt. Thank you. All right, make these last couple drawers. Come on, come on, make the last drawer. What are you doing? Thank you. Wait, is that the last one? That wasn't the last one. What? Wait, where's the last one? Someone make the last drawer. And also pisses me off. They always deliver one item and then go on break. Delivers an item? Oh, you actually assembled it. Congratulations. You did your job. All right. Open. Deliver. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. All right. I think now we are going to give this game a pause. And we are going to... I think we need to reconfigure everything. All right. Let's delete that. This is going to have to be exports. So let's move some of these shelves. See, this is where I hate it. I can't move these shelves without moving items out of the way first. That is really annoying. So like to move a shelf here, I need to move that fan first. All right, let's move this. Okay, that works there. And let's move this one. I know. Oh, I see. Let's move that there. And can we move this here? Sure. It's a little wonky, but, you know, I think it'll work. All right, that's exports. So then we need an area for metal. You know, let's sell this fan. Get this fan out of here. Let's make another zone. So this is also going to be, this isn't going to be exports anymore. What this is going to be, this is going to be a workstation input zone for these assembly tables and also maybe these ones. Just so that assembly is all right here. And then once these are done, it should go over to exports. So let's move some of these drawers. Ooh, is this, I don't think this is a perfect size, is it? Come on, please be, please be the perfect size. I think it's one too short. Oh my God, it is amazing. Amazing. All right, let's move that there. And we will move this one here. Let's see. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's working out pretty dang well. Oh man. No, we got to move this one back. No, that's going to bug me. All right, move this. Move it. Move it back. There you go. 
Back one, back one. Thank you. All right, so that should work there. Okay, so that's woodworking. This is assembly. So now we have nowhere for metalworking. All right, so how are we gonna do this? You know what? Since this is all set up for metal, or for woodworking and assembly, we will get more drawers going just so we have some income going because we do unfortunately need to have the time progressing in order to move things around and we're going to be burning through money at that point. So let's make more drawers, shall we? All right, let's make another 20. We don't have enough money, do we? All right, another 10 drawers. Oh my God, that costs a lot of money. Oh, oh boy. All right, in the meantime, let's sell these. This stuff's just taking up room right now. And I honestly don't know how much these little flower boxes and things help anyways. It says it helps with mood, but I don't know. People are still passing out. They're still getting exhausted. I wish I had some hard numbers. on ex Like, I wish the game exposed those numbers as far as how quickly people get tired and things work in specific rooms, but it doesn't. It just gives you a generic... Negative 57 mood, and that tells me absolutely nothing. All right, what are we selling? Oh, that was the stuff we were selling. Okay, so stuff should be getting cut. Beautiful, and it's going over here for assembly. Perfect. Okay, so now we can start moving this. I'm thinking we do... We're going to need a bigger area. So this is a decent sized area, I think, for woodworking. So we're going to need a nice, maybe like this corner we do for metalworking, like actual items, the inventory. So let's start moving some of this machinery. Can we move both of these side by side? It takes a four. No, we can't. You know what? Maybe we can put this here. I had spaced things out, too, so that way we could get additional stations. This is Metal Extruder. Metal Extruder doesn't fit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Let's move this billboard. This can just go at the end. Kind of want to move this. Can this please fit somewhere? Sure. It'll go right there. And then we can move these two stations down here. There we go. That will go there. And that will go there. Did I not move this? I guess I didn't. Uh, that's still too close. Let's move this. Oh, no. I don't want things so crammed, but I guess it doesn't matter. Right? Like, I think they path around each other pretty... Pretty decently. So why can't this move... Here. Oh, it can't. Sure. Whatever. They'll figure it out, I hope. All right, and then what we will do is another zone. Make this zone right up here. And this will be for workstation input. And let's link it all. Oh, we wanted to link that and link all these individual machines. Actually, I don't even know if that billboard was linked to anything. I don't know if that one is either. Can't even tell. All right, one more machine. Okay, so everything in metal working should be linked. And now we can move some shelving units up here. Looks like we can get three in there. Yeah. 
please tell me that's enough room for one more. It is beautiful. All right. Beautiful. So now we got a huge area for deliveries and I think we can expand this into a break room then. Not expand it, I mean we can like divide this into a break room. Maybe just cut this in half, add a wall, make another break room here, and then an export zone. That should be good. All right, hopefully we get some drawers made. So, you know, we don't go bankrupt, please. Please someone make a drawer unit, please. It should be coming up, there we go. All right, we got one, so we know we're not going bankrupt. So that means there should be four more being made fairly shortly, there's number two. Yeah, and look at that, they're going to go put in the export zone. I think this is working out. All right, let's watch our money. Yeah, they're collapsing. We're going to need more break rooms. Oh, just delivered the drawer unit and you passed out. All right, let's deliver these five. Beautiful. That should give us up to like six grand or so. I think. Right? Yeah, roughly. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Those are going to break. And let's repair everything else. I always forget about repairing. I kind of wish I could just have things auto repair once they got to like 50%. This seems like a tedious management sort of thing to do. All right, just click everything. There we go. Stuff will slowly get repaired. All right, doesn't look like we're gonna go bankrupt at least. So that's good, that's good. Everyone's drinking, everyone's happy. All right, and then I think once we get these drawers made, we'll make like five more drawers and then we'll also work on hoverboards just so that we have both parts of the factory working at the same time. Because right now we do have idle workers, I think, when we're only doing these drawer units. Although now we're pumping out the drawer units pretty dang quick. All right, three more. I think we're just assembling the actual drawers and then putting it all together into the whole cabinet. All right, one more, one more. Someone assemble it, there you go. Deliver. So this should be, this should get us up right to 10 grand or so. Maybe like 8,500, depends on how much these sell for. Oh nice, 9,700. Okay, so let's do it again. Let's do, let's do five of these, and then let's do five hoverboards. There we go. So the hoverboards are gonna wait for the bending to happen, but that shouldn't be an issue just because the metal is what takes the longest. The actual making the board part of the hoverboard is pretty much just cut the wood, bend it, and it's done. The metal for underneath is what takes the longest. All right, I think the market just refreshed. How's the market? How's the market? What? What is this? No storage space. How's there no storage space? What do you, what do, do, do you not see the shelves? What? These are totally shelves here. No storage space, my ass. What? There is totally storage space. What? I even see you storing them. Is this in the way maybe? Maybe this shelf is in the... No, they're getting to it. And they should easily be able to get to this. It's like they're just not using these three shelves. Huh. After we do this recipe, I think what we'll do is we'll redo this and we'll put shelves back to back. Like long ways like this. That way it's more like a row system like how these are. And we'll see if that helps this issue out. Why does it keep beeping at me? You have space! Alright, so that's going there. 
That's going to that. So what's the issue here? General storage area or resize an existing one. No storage space available for, for wood plank. For this. But there should be because this wood plank is then used for additional cutting, which means it should go over here because it's a material for these machines. What? Yeah, I, I don't... I don't get why this keeps yelling at me. And they're still putting it here anyways. Well, this is for assembly, but... Yeah, these should just go here. Unless I'm missing something. Maybe... Maybe this zone. No, it's in there. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. I don't know what that's talking about then. And this is linked. So this blue definitely, this blue area definitely has all these machines. This one definitely has these center machines. And this one has all of these machines. This should not be an issue then. I don't know why this keeps yelling at me. Oh my God, it's going nuts. Use button to link workstations, didn't I? Oh, did I clear that? I must have cleared that by accident. Whoops. All right. So I didn't clear this, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why this is yelling at me other than these shelves, the positioning is messing things up, which might be the case because they're not using them at all. You know what? Let's just sell this. Maybe that's just in the way. And at very least, they'll have an area to put stuff on the floor. Instead of whining about it. Can't even clear these, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. There you go. Oh, drawer's done. That was actually pretty quick for those drawers. Not bad. Now it should just be a case of making the top of the hoverboards and then assembling. What? No storage space for wood plank. How? That makes no sense to me. I don't know why it's yelling at me. All right, someone make the last one. There you go. There you go. All right. Hoverboard's made. All right, we are hurting for money though. Oh, nice. We're at ten grand. We 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 reorganized the shop a bit, but I don't know if that really helped. This is throwing a hissy fit for some reason. Maybe we unlink everything and relink it all. There we go. Okay, let's relink all this. Make sure everything is selected in this area. Okay. Okay, everything should be selected in the wood shop area. This is for assembly here. This is for this assembly as well as all these metalworking machines. That should be good. And then let's also reposition these. That should go there. Oh, come on. It's not going to be obstructed, though. It's going to move. You should know better. There we go. All right, let's do that, and then let's sell this. Let's see if that stops them complaining. All right, we will give that a test on the next episode, and then I think we will also split this up to make sure we have more breakpoints so people stop passing out in the workshop, because that is definitely not safe, and it's definitely... Putting us behind as our specialists are falling asleep and not doing their jobs. So we will handle that on the next episode. So until then, take it easy, everyone.